Morning nurses at a Snohomish County's largest hospital are planning to announce plans for a possible strike. 1,300 nurses at Providence Everett Medical Center are planning to walk out after not reaching a labor deal with the hospital. King 5's Drew Andre is live there at uh, the Everett Hospital right now with more on this possible strike. So, Drew, we're talking about uh, already dealing with a shortage of nurses, so a strike would certainly impact the hospital. That's right, Mimi. It is definitely going to put a real strain on the system and the nurses know that, but that's part of the reason why they are doing this. Now, last week, the nurses contract officially expired and Friday was the final bargaining meeting, a last chance to maybe strike a deal that didn't happen. So that's what brings us to this strike now and 97% of nurses voted to authorize this strike that happened last month. Now they must give a 10 day notice before going on strike. Providence Medical Center says they offered a 13% pay increase that will increase to 21% over the next three years. The nurses, though, still think they will run into the continued staffing shortages, which they say cause dangerous nurses to patient ratios. A lot of nurses will leave here and go to our sister hospital where they can make a little bit more and have um, less patient loads. So their stress and strain is a lot less. But now that we've reached a strike, it's unclear how much more this could impact patients in the coming months, but we know it will. Providence told us this in response to the looming strike. Strikes strain the health care system and jeopardize vital care for those who depend on us. Now we turn our full focus towards preparing our hospital campuses for a strike. We look forward to resuming negotiations after the strike. Now, the hospital says that they have been preparing for this moment for quite some time now. And today, the nurses will announce those days that they plan on striking. Jake and Mimi. So, Drew, before you go, what does that mean to prepare for nurses walking out? Do they bring in other staff to help care for these patients that can't go anywhere? Yep, they told us last month that they have plans in place to bring in other health care workers that can be from other hospitals that are already under that Providence umbrella. But they did say they know this will mean limited services and in some cases having to cut services. All right, Drew Andre has been tracking this from the start. We'll check back. Thanks so much.